Good morning, Danielle Griffin, Mama Fit for Life, here with day 34 of our butt and leg challenge. I can't believe we are literally almost halfway there, which is awesome. And that means that if you have friends that love your results so far, if you have friends that are watching what you're doing, invite them in. They can totally tag on for the second half of this challenge. So again, we're focusing on butt and legs, every now and again putting a little bit of arm work in just to keep our body balanced. Remember to hydrate, remember to eat smart. Um, if you need nutritional ideas, recipe ideas, just message me. Um, you can go to facebook.com, my coach Griffin, or uh, Danielle Griffin VB, as in Virginia Beach, at gmail.com, and I can get you that info. So here we go. I'm going to be doing a little workout today. You follow along. This is my new little gym area in the house. I'm so excited about. All right, guys, here we go. Holding on or standing still with your hands and your hips, you're going to work your core a little bit tighter. If you need something to hold on to, couch, windowsill, whatever it is, chair, go for it. <clears throat> Balancing on the right leg, we're going to do left side focus here. We're going to go out to the side with our knee bent at a 90 degree angle and pushing back like you're making a footprint to the wall. Out and back. Good job. Core's tight. Your belly button should be all the way in towards your back at this point. Awesome. We're really going to get the leg burning today by doing everything on the left and then switching to the right. Normally we do one exercise on the left, one exercise on the right. We're changing it up today. Good job. Keep it moving. Working the balance stabilizers here. Core is tight. Remember to breathe. You got 20 of these. You're doing great. Eight more. Nice and controlled. Contracting those muscles. Stabilizing. Six more. Awesome. I lose my count every now and again with talking, so if you do a few extra. Three more. Awesome. Last two. And last one. Very good. Now standing here, again, we're still balancing on that leg. If you need to shake it out, go for it. What we're gonna do here is bicycle the leg. So one leg holding on if you need to, that's a modification. Holding on is the modification today. The movements are pretty simple, so we shouldn't have too many restrictions. If you do, please just reach out to me and I can help you modify more. So what we're doing is going out, cycling back, out, cycling back, good job like we're on the bicycle, we got that leg tight, bring it around, bring it all the way around, really get that range of motion, keeping the body, we'll go this way for you so you can see, out, all the way around, good job. Even in the small space, you can make this happen, good job. If you need to stand up while you're doing it because of your leg room, that's fine. Good job. Woo, feeling this on the left leg. Pop one over. Good. That's what that side holding is for. You might not be able to work that balance for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Rotating that right foot, just kind of wiggle the feet a little bit, stretch out that foot. Um, if you get cramping or tightness in your foot because you're just not used to that balance and stability, grab a tennis ball. You can roll your foot out. It'll loosen those muscles, those tendons a little bit. Next, we have a toe tap. We're still balancing. Hand on the ledge if you need it. Otherwise, on your hips. Core is tight. Get that belly button all the way in towards your back. Balancing on your right leg. We're toe, tap, and back. Toe, tap, and back. Toe, tap, back, good job. All the way through, really working on range of motion here. Really working on balance. Holding on, you don't need to do as much range of motion if you can't go far out. If you can get that leg down and feel comfortable, you might feel a little achiness in the hip here. So if you need to keep it simple, another way is just going back and forth and not bringing it around. Reaching out and in. Good job, guys. 
keep it up. Awesome. For five, you've got this. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Woo! I am feeling it in my feet. So we are going to take a little break from the balance here. And what are we doing? Squats. You know it. Button leg is not a button leg workout without a squat. We're going to change that up a little bit. There we go. To the side here. You know how to do it. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. Core always tight. You don't want your knees going past your toes. So we're sitting back. Coming up, squeezing the glutes on the way up. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Your comfort level. If you can only go here, great. Just make sure you're squeezing the glutes on the way up. If you can go further down, awesome. Don't compromise your form here. If it's compromised, change it up. Take a look back, get in front of the mirror. Make sure you're sitting back. Knees are in front of your toes. Facing straight, straight forward, not going past, okay? Squeeze on the way up, down, and squeeze. That squeezing not only activates the glutes, it also activates the core a little bit because it's forcing you to kind of whoo, pull in, squeeze in. Five, four, three, you've got this, two, and one. Awesome, guys. I've got some... You know, there's your pants. Fix it up a little. <laughs> okay, let's change it up. We're gonna work on our right side now. So just how we started before, if you need to hold on, we've got our leg at a 90 degree angle. As you can see, 90 degrees. We're just going out and back. Remember, one leg might be easier than the other. Balance is different on both sides. So you wanna strengthen both sides. If you find yourself tapping a lot, just guide your hand here. You don't have to hold on tight. Just have a finger touch here so you feel more comfortable and stable. Good job, nice and controlled. Core is tight. I know some of my uh, friends, I know my sister has a snow day. So these are perfect workouts for a snow day. Add on to your regular routine. Add on as a little extra. Good job. We've got 10 more, 10. Like I said, when I talk, I lose count. Eight, nice and controlled. This one's harder for me to balance for sure. I can feel it in my knee. So I know I gotta strengthen all the muscles in my leg. It's not just the knee, it's the calf. I gotta stretch, I gotta recover, recuperate those muscles. Two, and last one, awesome. And you know what's next, we're going for the bicycle. So, balancing on that left leg, we're going to bring it up, back, bicycle it around. Yeah, I definitely feel it in my knee today. So I know I need to get a foam roll out and I need to do some serious stretching on that leg. Good job, guys. 